Welcome to the March edition of Truths and Tales. I'm Yana Ogletree, and I'm joined by the Executive Director of the Kurth Memorial Animal Adoption and Services Center, Mr. Aaron Ramsey. And again, he is going to introduce us to some of the fabulous dogs and cats available for adoption right here at the center located on Hill Street. And we're going to start out small and would like to introduce you to this young lady. We, she doesn't have a name yet, but I'm, I'm surprised because I know the volunteers always come up with some very, very creative names. But um, for the time being, I think I'll call her Goldie. Goldie, that's a that's actually a really fitting name. Um, yeah. She is, uh, she's about, um, she's about two months old or, or a little, uh, probably eight to nine weeks old. Uh, stray that came into the shelter. Um, she's going to be a, some type of lab mix. I think there's some hound in there yeah, too. Yeah, look you at can, her ears. With the long ears, definitely probably some hound. But um, she's going to grow up to be a, a, a pretty large dog, um, but just very cute, uh, tan color, and she's just she's anxious to get out of my lap and get down and, and play right now. She has those little puppy teeth. <laughs> she wants to chew. Yeah, she's, you know, she uh, is, is very active, and she, obviously she hasn't been stressed out by the shelter too much because she, she her personality is good right now. Yeah, I'm going to actually, I'm going to let her down and... Uh, get some of that energy out and she's going to explore <laughs> so this is just one of many many puppies that you have available for adoption here at the center yes we um you know this time of year uh as we're coming out of winter and we get into the springtime um we typically see our our intake increase especially with puppies um mm -hmm. unfortunately we we call it puppy season um, just because of the high volume coming in. So mm -hmm. um, this is just one of, of many we have right now. Okay. And is it the same price to adopt out a puppy as it is a a, a middle-aged dog? And I know yeah. seniors are a little bit different. Yeah, our adoption fee um, for uh, for puppies and, and as well as uh, larger dogs is $60, which includes the um, spay neuter, free, free uh, excuse me, spay neuter, first round of shots, and a free wellness checkup. Um, so it, it's um, puppies, everything that's adopted from the shelter um, has to get spayed or neutered. So, um, and that's what that, you know, that's why that mm -hmm. fee is the same across the board for large and small dogs. Right, so. and if you know a lot about uh, those type of services, that is a steal when it comes to having a, a pet altered and then having that first round of shots and um, being, it, and, and a vet check so um, that's a good deal that's a good deal and of course we encourage you you know after you do adopt you know you need to understand the responsibilities of being a pet owner and that would be to get the second and third round shots of vaccines that's right keep it putting your dog on heartworm preventative I've seen a lot of um, information floating around on Facebook uh, as we get ready to head into um, the summer months you know we well, heartworm should be top of mind all the time if you're a pet owner and you should be giving your animal some type of a treatment That's right. to prevent that. So, you know, those things are so important uh, when you uh, decide to get a dog. And so we would hope that they, being, you would be a responsible pet owner. So coming in, that, let's bring up the, the application process. Yeah. Um, you just don't come in and get a dog. There is some things you have to do. That's right. Um, we, we have a process to adopt and, um, you know, we encourage the first step should be uh, for that potential adopter to come in and, and, and take a look at all our animals and, uh, um, you know, find that animal that, that's going to be a good fit for them. And everybody looks for something different or, or in particular with, uh, or excuse me, particular with certain animals. So the first step is come here. Uh, you can come pick out an animal, come to our meet and greet room, and um, and just make sure that's going to be a good match for you. Uh, there is an adoption uh, application process, so, um, it, you know, you, you fill that out, and, of course, we take a look at it. And, um, you know, our job is to match the, the, the right animal with the right, right. person, and that's, um, that's a big part of what we try to do here. Um, all dogs are different, just like people. They have different personalities. They have... Um, different energy levels so uh, we just want to make sure that we have a find a good match yeah this one definitely has some high energy that's right puppies of course um, you know puppies require a lot of a lot of work and a lot of training 
Um, so we always, always encourage people to uh, just take in consideration um, all the responsibility that goes along with, with owning an animal and, um, and yeah, come out That's and see so what important. we have. Okay, so this is an unknown named puppy, but I'm, for the, I'm calling the puppy Goldie, but I'm sure the volunteers will rename it. But uh, she is available for adoption now, and so if you're interested, don't delay, because I think she has such a sweet personality that I don't think she'll stay long. Oh, look. <laughs> she likes that. All right, let's see who we have next. Okay. And the next dog we'd like to introduce you to is Razzie, and uh, she is a female, it looks like she has some Dawson in her, and I mean, what, maybe not? <laughs> Possibly, you know, it, it, it she's is. She's lying, uh, or maybe yeah. Basset? Um, probably some, some hound. Oh, she's trying to jump out of my lap. Uh, also, we think she has some Catahoula in her as well. Really? So, uh, I'm going to let her down because she, um, she, she, she wants to explore. Yeah. So, I'm going to let her down. But uh, she, her, her name is Razzie. She's really and cute. I'm going to set her down. There we go. Ah! <laughs> um, and she's there. She, she's off. Look. <laughs> she's off to the races. And she's about four months old, just a stray that came into the shelter. Um, she's actually already been spayed, so she's ready to go home. Was, she, um, was she, she spayed before she came into the shelter? Uh, no, no. We, oh, we, you, recently, you had... we, we recently went ahead and Look had her this. spayed. In, <laughs> Oh my goodness. So she's in true puppy form right now. Has a lot of energy. How old and, uh, do you think she is? She's about four months of well, age. She's climbing and, up oh. your leg. <laughs> I'm, she, she wants to be a lap dog, so maybe she does have some a little bit of dots so, in, in her. Okay, so you think she's, how big do you think she's going to be? Uh, you know, looking at her paws, um, she's probably going to be a, a medium to large size dog. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to to tell just because a lot of the dogs that come in are, are mixed but she's got some pretty big feet and she wants she's about to s s do a she's a, about to jump i know that's i don't <laughs> want her to hurt herself jumping out of my lap but she's full of energy full of life and uh you can see she just we need to get her to a good home where people have time to spend with her and, and let her run precious. and play she so i'm really, going to set her back down just a yeah, minute yeah go right ahead and set her down and she jumps down <laughs> <laughs> and she came in by herself that's right. She came in by herself as a stray, and you know that's that's the majority of the animals that we see here. Um, we do get owner surrendered animals. Um, those are animals that have a have a true owner, uh, but a lot of what comes in are, are stray. Um, and again, that goes back to uh, just um, the community spaying and neutering. Um, that's a big big. Uh, Big issue still in the community, and we're You're trying absolutely to absolutely right. You you need to make sure that the, you know animals are spayed and neutered. That's a big part of uh, the education process, and something that we need to make sure um, that an emphasis is placed that's on. That's right. So, yep. um, but anyway, so that's the importance. You know, to understand that an animal doesn't leave here unless it's spayed or neutered. Yes, that um, of course that's uh, it's also state law, and but very important to to mm -hmm. um, helping the the animal population in this area. So. Well, you know, I think we need to get this dog a toy. She's <laughs> playing with her leash. She is so excited. But wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't she be fun to have in your house? I mean, kids would just eat this up. You yeah. know, just She's, someone uh, a, a dog that has this much energy and such a cute cute personality, and she likes to chew. Apparently, that may not be so cute, but. <laughs> um, but you know you can train her, right? Yeah, that's that's a typical puppy. You know that's what that's what um, toys are for and and chew toys. So, um, but but just with a little training and um, some exercise, she'll she'll make a great animal for somebody. Yeah, just hours and hours of entertainment right here. That's right. You can just sit here and watch uh, this puppy. So this is Razzie, and Razzie is available now for adoption. So as Erin says, she's already been altered. So. Uh, if you come in today and you your application is approved, then you get to take her home. That's right. Okay, so if you want to look uh, or come out and visit Razzie, bring your children, bring animals. This is a meet and greet room, and uh, we can definitely bring Razzie out and let her meet and greet with you. Um, and if it all works out, then we would hope that she will find a, a forever home. The last dog we'd like to introduce you to is Prince, and Prince definitely looks like a prince. He's very, very striking, has some great markings, and you were saying that he, you think he might be part Doberman? Yeah, um, just his coloring and kind of the, the some of the facial features, uh, 
probably a, a Doberman Pinscher mix. Now, what else he He's is mixed. mixed with, that is a good question. Well, so. you know, the cool thing about that is you can get the dog DNA testing. And I know some people who have done that, and it's just crazy what makes up that dog. That's right. Um, those, you know, you can get those kits and... Um, there's a lot of animals that I think you would really be surprised what the results are that, that come back. But this guy, he's about 10 months old, so he's really young. He's still a pup at heart, um, very friendly. Uh, he's actually sitting nice and calm for us right now. And uh, you can tell he loves the attention and loves the belly rubs. So, uh -huh. um, But he was just a stray that came into the shelter. Um, he hasn't been altered yet, so but again, that inclu that's included in the mm -hmm. adoption fee. So, mm -hmm. and, and like I said earlier, that's a great deal. You know, one thing to note is if you're missing a dog, you've lost your dog, and you're looking everywhere. You know, you see the signs of people looking for dogs all the time. Always check the local shelter um, and other animal rescue organizations. Uh, a, a true story, and it, it goes back to what do you think this dog is? What kind of breed is this? And sometimes people look at their dogs completely different. I have a friend who her, her dog had gotten out of her backyard and she had called and said, "This my dog is a Chihuahua mix. And no, we don't have any, have any of those. <laughs> but we, I convinced her to come here and check. And when she did, they did have her dog, but they had it down as something else. So, you know, especially with a mixed breed, you, you don't really know. I mean, That's it's just right. everybody's best guess until you do the DNA testing. So if you lose your dog, your dog comes up missing, make sure you come and just eyeball the dogs here and uh, or, or cats to make sure that, um, to, to see if it's here or, or yeah. if it's not. That's a great point. And, um, you know, we tell people that all the time. Um, of course, we get inquiries um, hourly almost on missing animals mm. and um, we th we just take in so many animals it's not because we don't want to try to help you over the phone um, we'll do our best to you know to try to try to if you are missing an animal to try to give you somewhat of an idea if the animals here but we have so many and just like that great example um, my employees might be calling at one particular animal a certain type of breed and you might be referring to it as something else mm -hmm. so that's why it's so important just to physically come and look so absolutely okay so this is Prince and we also need to mention that you can find Prince on uh, the Friends of Kurth Memorial Animal Shelter Facebook page um, you can also go to Pet Harbor what am I leaving out Pet Harbor, uh, Pet Finder. Pet Finder. Yep, mm -hmm. those are going to be your um, main ones. Um, the the Friends at Kurth Facebook page is a great page run by volunteers. Um, they do a great job uh, highlighting the animals that are here. Um, we have some volunteers that take excellent photos of the of the animals. So uh, I encourage everybody to check it out. Yeah, and they really do. And I know you really can't see behind us. You might be, see, be able to see a few of the pictures, but these are some of the photos that uh, one of the volunteers, uh, Mickey, you said, had taken these photos and then put them on canvas. And they really such a great addition to the meet and greet room. So precious, precious photos. And I don't know how she captured these animals so well because if you've ever tried to take a picture of an animal, you know how <laughs> difficult it can be, especially if there's a group, like these group of puppies over That's here. Right. How do you do that? I don't know, but uh, she definitely has a fantastic talent in doing that, and we, we appreciate Mickey so much uh, for for helping us out with that. Okay, so this is Prince. You want to let Prince walk around and yeah. so we can get a better... He's, he's hiding. He's, he must be a little <laughs> shy, so we can get a, a better look at him. There he goes. Come well, on, he's, buddy. Look, he's like, hey, I'm just going to hang out. So he's gonna, going to explore. His, and he's got the bob tail. So do you think he was born with... A bobtail? Possibly, or, you know, it's just, it? it's hard, hard to say, um, but I, it gives, definitely gives him character, I think. It, oh, yeah. It, he's, he's a beautiful looking animal. Um, I like his markings. Yeah, his, very his markings unique very marking, pretty. and just a real healthy coat, real healthy animal, uh, but again, still young, so he's still, still got a little bit of puppy in him, but just, just a very friendly guy. Yeah, he's checking everything out. <laughs> All right, don't, don't trip over the lights. Come here, Prince. No, he's going to check everything. That's a great dog. <laughs> all right, so Prince, uh, Razzie, and Goldie are all available for adoption. But if you're interested in any of these dogs, don't delay. Come and uh, check them out and take one of them home or take all three of them home uh, and give them a, a loving home. So now we're going to introduce you to the cats. 
And now we'd like to introduce you to some cats available for adoption right here at the center. Um, and they are coming to us from the brand new cat room that we highlighted last month. So we're really excited about having the new quarters for all the, our feline friends. That's right. Um, we're heading into kitten season too, unless, I mean, every every month seems like it's kitten season. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we've told you before, cats can have up to three litters of ki kittens every year. So just in the lines of what we were talking about earlier, it's so important, especially with, I mean, just with all animals, but with cats, to have that cat spayed or neutered. That's right. Just, just like we mentioned with the puppies earlier, um, just spring, you know, it just... Um, uh, as, as things are blooming, um, so, so is the animal population. Yeah. And it, it, with, with cats as well, we, we have so many, um, they're starting to come in. We don't, don't, don't have a whole lot right now, but uh, we will it, it, um, very soon. So, well, um, and you just did an event in February where uh, a Valentine's special. And so how many animals did you adopt out? Yeah, we, were, we had a very successful event where we reduced our adoption fee. And um, I think the number was 101 was the total number. That's great. So um, we're, we're super pleased with that. Um, and we also, um, of course, we continue to, to adopt out animals. Um, and also we continue our, our rescue work, too, as mm -hmm. well. We're working with a lot of rescues to try to try to continue to drive down those um, the homeless animal population right. and uh, it's, it's a it's a battle every day but um, we're, we're slowly making progress yeah. So. yeah that's good and of course last year your euthanasia rates were down too weren't that's they? right 43 percent which mm -hmm. um, is uh, you know we still of course we want to continue to push that number way down but that's the lowest historically it's mm -hmm. ever been um, and that's uh, give give credit to it takes a community effort to make that happen from volunteers who work many tireless hours um, to helping at the shelter um, the staff here who works very hard um, so it takes it takes everybody involved to do that so yeah absolutely okay so what did you tell me this cat's name was, or did you? Uh, this cat does not have a name, and uh, but you said it's Harley's. Like looks like it looks like it could be Harley's kitten. That's right. We have our um, our shelter cat Harley, who who looks. Of course, he's grown. He's big. He's big now. <laughs> but this could be a, a miniature version of, of Harley, one of our mascots. But that, does it have Harley's personality? <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe maybe when. Uh, he gets a little bit older, and and um, he gets spoiled rotten like our shelter mascot. He so might, tell so. us what you use the shelter cats for. Shel our shelter cats, they, um, gosh, they, we we, <laughs> they're actually we use them a lot to test how well um, dogs. Some of our dogs that come in and get along with cats, um, and we test them with other cats. So they're kind of the guinea pigs, but uh, they do their job very well and. Um, and they're spoiled rotten. So, yeah. so if you walk into the front office here at the shelter, you might see Harley in the outgoing mail basket, or just <laughs> laid out, or, you know, in front of the door. That yeah, they're pretty spoiled cats. Right, and they they probably won't move for you either. If they're if they're lounging <laughs> in the sun, you'll have to step over them because they they're not gonna they're not gonna get out of your way. So, okay, so this little. Did we say it was a boy or a girl? Uh, it's a, a, he is a male. He is a male. Yeah, he, he's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's available for adoption now. And of course, obviously in this situation, you would adopt him, bring him back and go through the spay, uh, the neutering uh, program. Um, but this is gonna be one of many, many kittens that we have. So if you're looking for a cat, whether it's a kitten, a, uh, you know, a, a moderate age, a cat or even uh, senior cats because you know because cats can live to be in their 20s if they're taken well you know taken good care of so um we have we have we have all kinds of cats right that's right a lot to choose from um and this guy he is uh he's gonna make a great just lap, lap cat. cat he loves you can tell he, he <laughs> loves just to, to kind of hang out and um What's the attention yep sweet cat okay all right, the last cat we'd like to introduce you to is Sabine, and uh, she's available for adoption now, and she looks to be, what, about a year old, maybe? About a year old, that's right. Yep, we aged her the year. Um, she's a domestic short hair, just a stray that came into the shelter. Very sweet-natured cat. Um, she's, uh, we call her diluted, a diluted tortie. She's kind of, um, 
you can see the torty under. He's kind of got a great gray overcoat, yeah. but you can see the torty color coming mm -hmm. through. So we lots of different colors. Lots of different coloring. Very unique looking, but she is just uh, she's very friendly. Great, great lap lap cat. So oh yeah, she looks like she's just right at home. And for someone to be allergic to cats, these cats just love you. <laughs> I mean, they just they're just right at home in your lap. Okay. Well, I, I've, uh, yeah, I've actually probably <laughs> overcome my allergies since I've been working here, but you're right. I did, when I first started um, working here at the shelter, uh, I did have an, uh, <laughs> allergies to cats, but uh, I think over the years I've, I've kind of become immune to it. So. Yeah, so when we first started this show with Aaron, it was always interesting when you bring out the cats to see how long it was going to last before he turned red. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, you know, you look great now. Well, well, great. So well, I'm great. glad you've overcome that. Um, Difficulty. <laughs> Sometimes you, you just have to jump right in and. Uh, you got to do what you got to do, <laughs> right? right. To, to, get, to save all these animals. <laughs> okay, so um, this is, again, this is Sabine, and you can find her on Pet Harbor, Pet Finder, or on the Facebook page for the Friends of the Kurth Animal Shelter. Is that, what is it? For? That's right, Friends, at, uh, Friends of Kurth Memorial Animal Shelter. Okay. Um, and that, just again, that's a great Facebook page to be a part of. to keep up with shelter news and, and see some of the wonderful animals that are rehomed and what we have at the shelter. Yeah, so. they, and the volunteers always do a great job of keeping keeping uh, new information out there. That's so right. So there's always, you know, if you go out there every day because there's something new. Um, also, we'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who's supported the big fundraiser at the beginning of the month. Boots. Best Buddies, Buddies boots, boots, and, and barbecue. barbecue. That's Best right. Best Buddies, Boots, and Barbecue. Okay, so this is what annual was that one? This that was uh, would have been number four mm -hmm. um, and uh, was a great success put on by um, uh, Miss Molly James, who is a great supporter of the shelter, great, um, great person in the community who does so much to help us year over year. And just uh, I can't say enough great things and positive things about her. But um, she puts it on every year. Um, it took place at the Civic Center, and it was just a great event, great outcome. Um, and it, the, the, it all goes towards raising money for um, our vetting fund here, which mm -hmm. allows us to treat injured and sick animals that come in. So, um, you know, w w without that, her hard work and all that she does, um, you know, without that vetting fund, a lot of animals would come in that we wouldn't be able to treat. Yeah. But um, this started, this whole program started um, probably about three or four years ago, mm -hmm. and it's been super successful in helping us treat some of these ones that right. come in. There so, so important because you do see a lot of that coming in. Um, and and you know, the public, for example, you know, if they see a dog that's been hit on the side of the road, they will take, bring the dog and help this dog. And, and if it wasn't for those, those that fun, uh, you wouldn't be able to do that. I mean, That's it right. Would be, it, the dog would not have another chance. That's right. Uh, so we appreciate Molly and then the whole team of volunteers who helped put that event on. And we thank you for coming out and supporting it, whether you, you came to in, and bought a ticket or you uh, purchased a silent uh, raffle or silent auction item, raffles. Uh, all of that helps out so much. So we really, really thank you yeah. for uh, supporting them. Yeah, and I just one th um, final comment on the on the fundraiser. Um, also, the local businesses um, they have really supported Miss James in, in in donations and raffle prizes, and uh, we are very appreciative of all the businesses that donated, and um, it's going to a great cause and, and helping a lot of animals. Yeah, a so. lot, a lot of businesses support it, and and that's refreshing to see that. So thank you to all those businesses out there for all you do. Aaron, thank you for joining us on the show again. And we will be back in April um, to, to bring you some more animals available for adoption. But in the meantime, please go online, take a look at what we have, or come on out to the shelter and um, walk through the aisles and maybe you can find that forever uh, animal. Aaron, thanks for joining us and thank you for being with us today.